Welcome to Spiritual Dialogue with Father Udon de Castro. We are here at Cariana Lay Monastic Community. With us is Sister Tachi. Sister Tachi. No, we were, I was just uh, looking back to the other, uh, the other discussion we had about people or some making a statement that there is no hell, hmm. Father. And, and then and somebody else retorting that, did I get it right? That if you say that, that your God is stupid, did it make sense like that? Or did, was it another circumstance, Father? Yeah, these are two occasions that has occurred mm -hmm. in the sense that we have read in the headlines that Pope Francis said that there is no hell. Mm -hmm. uh, and then our bishops also, especially the bishops' conference, repeated what Pope Francis said. And our own bishops in the Philippines also mentioned the fact that there is no hell. And he even said that's a good news that there is uh, no hell. Mm -hmm. At the same time, while the Pope and our bishop says there is no hell, our president, who is a layman, hmm. he's not a bishop, he's not a priest, also mentioned the fact that there is, um, that probably there is a God who is stupid. And people tend to start mixing everything up. Can you ex explain further what, the, what is the meaning of uh, what the president said? That our God is stupid. Is there any yeah. spiritual meaning to that? Well, um, we should not really be bothered by those things because these are two different levels. In other words, when popes and bishops and priests speak, they are supposed to speak in the supernatural or spiritual level. And when politicians speak, like the president, they are speaking in the natural level. It's not in the supernatural level. The president is not a theologian. Yes. He's but... not a seminarian. He's not a priest. So we do not expect him to say truths or teachings in theology because that is not his competency. If he's a politician, he should be an expert in politics. Mm -hmm. Yes. And of course, we expect that the bishops and the pope should speak and should speak about matters of theology and the spiritual life. Now, when you start putting together and judge a bishop for saying something in the natural level and it's wrong, mm -hmm. then we say that the bishop is talking about something which is not his competency. Mm -hmm. Like if the Pope says that there is global warming, we should not believe him because that is not his competency. Yes, but... Uh... He's not an expert in weather, pro weather situations or global warming or the state of the temperature in the world. Mm -hmm. That is not his competency. Mm -hmm. And so for him to speak, you can listen to his reasoning, why he believes there is a global warming. And we see that his reasons are illogical and unscientific. Mm -hmm. So we're not obliged to believe him at all. And of course, when a layman speaks about something that is theological, we know that is not his competency, mm -hmm. especially if he's a, the a politician. We know that his competency is politics. He should speak about politics. Of course, we can mix the two. Only if a bishop is competent in the spiritual matters can he speak about natural matters. Mm. Yes, is that? No. That, so if you are expert. You expert in spiritual matters, yeah. you can definitely speak about spiritual matters. Yes, because spiritual matters higher. are superior, mm. higher, higher. But not than, the other way around. Not the other way okay. around. Okay, that's mm. clear. If you speak about something that is not, uh, that is not good, mm. can you give a very good spiritual meaning out of... Uh, the wrong things uttered by a person. Yeah, yeah. 
And we, we can do that, and we will try to do that. No? So when Pope Francis and the vice president of our Catholic Bishops' Conference said that there was no hell, mm -hmm. that is supposed to be their level of competency, because that's theology. Mm -hmm. They uh, should know. Yes. They should know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what they said is contrary to our catechism. Yeah. Yes, but not. And so we say that Pope Francis and the Filipino bishop is wrong. They made a mistake because they spoke about spiritual matters and what they said was contrary to the spiritual teaching of the Catholic Church. Mm. And if you look at the catechism of the Catholic Church and just look at the index on the title of hell, you will see so many topics proving the existence of hell. Mm -hmm. So that is about the bishops and the Pope, mm -hmm. that yes, they Pana. spoke about something outside, which is within their within. competency, mm -hmm. but they said something wrong, mm -hmm. which shows that they are totally incompetent of spiritual matter, which is supposed to be their competency. Mm -hmm. Now, if a lay politician says that God's stupid, that is not his competency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he can make a mistake. Mm -hmm. But out of that mistake, can we see something good out of it? Yes, in the sense that um, when the word was mentioned that God is stupid, that is natural reasoning. Yes, natural by, a layman, reasoning. by a layman. By a layman. But if you use natural reasoning to judge things around us, he could be right. Why? Because there are many gods in this world, many gods, maybe yes. hundreds or thousands. You mean many people believe in many gods? Yeah, mm -hmm. many gods in the list of gods. In the list of gods. And most small, of them are stupid. Small g, yeah. Yeah, yes, Father. I mean... We know very well Our Lady of Guadalupe and the Aztecs during her time were worshipping a snake. Yes, Father. That's their God. And that's a stupid God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The snake is a stupid God. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Israelites who were worshipping the true God, one day when they lost their faith was worshipping Moloch. Mm -hmm. Moloch is just a statue. Yes, mm -hmm. And that's a very stupid God. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think a statue has an intellect? Mm -hmm. It's made of stone. No eyes, no voice, nothing. So he's really <laughs> dumb. <laughs> yeah, piece of stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now let's go to what was being insinuated. That um, the God of some bishops or the God of Pope Francis is stupid. Mm -hmm. Yes, that seems to be the insinuation. Now, let's say that is the insinuation. Mm -hmm. Now, if the God of Pope Francis and of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines has abolished hell, mm -hmm. he would be a very stupid God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A man who tells us that God created man, allowed him to do good and evil, mm. yes. and then when both of them dies, both of them will be together in heaven because there is no hell. Okay. Now, that God is stupid. Yes. And there is no uh, mm -hmm. judgment. There is no mercy and justice. No, nothing. Or in other words, like you, Brother Lodi, if you want to go to heaven, would you like the one sitting beside you to be an abortionist, the one on the left, a murderer? In heaven. A rapist? <laughs> but that's what they're hinting because there is no hell, they yeah. said. Yeah. Yes, probably. So everybody goes to heaven, and in fact they're insinuating that everybody goes to heaven. Oh my, that is against uh, the doctrine, against uh, what, was, what is written in the Holy Book. Not only that. 
Imagine a God who makes a heaven where sinners and saints are together. That's very bad planning. <laughs> sounds stupid. <laughs> It sounds really stupid. <laughs> yeah. And therefore, if he was referring to the God that has abolished hell, that could really be a very stupid God. Yes. Yes. Uh, man, uh, I have read some um, uh, spiritual book, but the, uh, they don't mention about these things. Uh, written by fathers and doctors of the church. Well, because the fathers are of the church are not stupid, <laughs> <laughs> and the guy they're worshiping is not stupid. No? Yeah. I mean, the God of the Catholic Church is so wise; it made everything so well mm -hmm. that the good is going to be rewarded even here on earth. Just imagine how nice it is, even while you are still alive here on earth, you can be rewarded in being heaven. And the bad ones will never be joined with the good ones yeah. because it's not going to be a happy place if good and the evil ones are together. Yeah. It's so clear, Father. The, 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 the Holy Book says that uh, people will, will be separated, one on the left and the good on the right. They cannot be joined together. They really cannot be joined together. That's why, that's the reason why our God is such a intelligent God. Yes, all-knowing. All-knowing. And so if probably the politicians hear the correct description of the Catholic God, they will never say that he's stupid. Yes. They will really see that he's the most intelligent mm being in the whole world whose intelligence surpasses all the intelligence of man. And I would say that the person who said that God was stupid is an intelligent person. If he knew who is the true God, he would never say that. Yeah. But the way he is hearing things from bishops and from priests and even from the Pope, Well, most bishops and priests and even Pope Francis, as of recently, had been describing really a very stupid God. Oh, boy. Mm. Mm. That's, so That's why we think that they are proposing an entirely new religion. Yeah. Where there is no hell. There is no hell, and, and they have a very stupid God who will allow all kinds of yeah. sins. Because what we are seeing is saying Vatican bureaucracy who is practically allowing all kinds of sin from adultery to fornication to, to sodomy and etc. Yeah. This is the God that they are proposing. And this was even proposed in the Bishops' Conference of the Philippines on 2015. The beginning opening speech to the bishops' conference was to abandon the old intelligent God and to embrace this new stupid God. <laughs> yeah, that's what great. is happening, Father? Why like that? <laughs> well, you know very well that all these things come from the evil one. You know, <laughs> he's removing the true God so that we can worship him. It's as simple as that, you know. We have only one minute. Yeah. So great. there we have the two levels which we have to differentiate, the spiritual level and the natural level. We should expect those who are in the spiritual level to be able to go down to the natural level and understand the natural level. But we cannot expect those who are in the natural level to rise up to the supernatural level And the big defect now in the world is that the Catholics, Catholic Pope, the Catholic bishops, and the Catholic priests, many of them, not all, but many of them, are in the natural level. And as long as you are in the natural level, it's always possible that you will go down deeper into the unnatural level. Oh my God, we are in trouble for that. <laughs> people who believe in these uh, people. 
Not if you know the solution. I see. Okay, please explain us the, the, the solution for the next episode. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you for viewing uh, Spiritual Dialogue with Father Udon de Castro. See you next episode. Thank you for viewing. Hosanna, 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 Hosan